What's up everybody, following the recent mega buff to Moira's Fade ability, there has been quite a bit of back and forth discussion in the Overwatch community over whether the ability is broken or not. Some really like the ability, others think it's terrible, so in today's video I just wanted to give my post-play thoughts after having spent several hours playing both as the new Moira and as other heroes alongside the new Moira, and share what exactly I like about the new ability, what I don't like about it, and also how the Overwatch devs really sort of dropped the ball on communicating what exactly their intention with this change was. This is Master EN Gamer, and real quick, I'd like to give a shout out to today's sponsor. Vivify's Assesso W10 USB-C cable is the coolest way to charge and transfer data to and from your portable devices. This light-up cable uses Quick Charge 3.0 technology to quickly and efficiently charge your device, and delivers speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second for lightning-fast backups and data transfers. Compatible with all USB-C devices, the Assesso W10 is perfect for phones, tablets, wireless peripherals, and portable gaming systems. Click the link in the description to get your own Assesso W10 light up USB C cable and check out Vivify's other awesome tech products. In fact, for a limited time, Vivify is running a giveaway for their RGB fiber optic HDMI cable in partnership with my channel. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is click on the Instagram link in the description, follow at Vivify Cable on Instagram, and then like and tag a friend in my partnered post. It's as simple as that. Thanks again to Vivify for their sponsorship, and now on to the video. So looking at Moira's new fade ability on the experimental card, is this ability OP? Well, the short answer is yes, it definitely is. However, I don't think it's quite as OP as many people think it is, and overall, I have to say, I actually really like what Blizzard was going for with it. The idea of giving a hero an ability like this, where you're able to cleanse teammates to save them from certain CC effects, as well as temporarily negating damage, is a really cool ability and fits very well with the idea of a support hero. The closest thing we really have to it in this regard would probably be Zarya's bubbles, which of course are on a tank hero, but I do like that Blizzard is experimenting with giving this kind of utility to a support. But I don't know how I feel about them giving it to Moira specifically. Now historically, Moira has had her fair share of issues when it comes to being too DPS focused or not being effective enough as a healer, and overall, before this experimental buff, she didn't really have any proper utility. It was all just pure healing and pure damage output. But I actually kind of liked that about her. That felt very iconic to her identity. Other heroes might be able to stun the enemy or speed boost your team, but Moira was just pure healing and damage. So giving her this sort of added ability to cleanse her teammates doesn't really feel like it fits the character super well in my opinion. The ability overall ends up feeling kind of clunky and really just sort of tacked on to Moira's fade. It feels like it's not super coherent in the way it actually functions. For example, typically Moira uses fade to escape the enemy, but in this case you now have that weird sort of dichotomy where you either use it to escape or use it to initiate into a fight in order to grant your teammates a certain amount of immunity. Now I certainly see the appeal of having an ability that you have to sort of choose which way you want to use it. Do you want to use it to escape or do you want to use it to buff your allies, but again, I just don't think Moira was necessarily the right hero to stick this ability onto. I feel like this ability would be best implemented on a brand new hero where their entire kit is built a bit more around the idea of being able to cleanse allies, or at the very least having a bit more cohesion with the ability and the rest of the hero's kit. So, the ability and concept I think is great, but the implementation on Moira in the experimental card I don't think works super well. But it is at the very least fun to play around with. Now getting onto the balance aspect, I have to admit I'm not a super great Moira player by any stretch of the imagination, so definitely don't think I'm coming at this from a pro player perspective. But in terms of balance, even as a mid skill range support player, I feel like it is too strong. For example, with only a 6 second cooldown, it makes it very easy for Moira to save her teammates from things like Ash's Dynamite's Burning Effect, Ana's Anti-Heal, and yes, even a number of ultimates. Particularly tank ultimates I might note, such as Gravitic Flux, Earth Shatter, and Graviton Surge. All these sort of CC-focused abilities are just 
pretty much negated by Moira's fade now, which is still only on a 6 second cooldown. It can also be used to negate big burst damage ultimates such as Junkrat's Rip Tire and Diva's Self Destruct, but admittedly it actually takes a bit of skill to negate those as opposed to the CC ults. Given that the immunity is granted at the end of Moira's fade as opposed to the beginning, you have to be really good at timing how you use it and where exactly you move relative to your team in order to grant them the invulnerability to survive a diva bomb or rip tire. In playing around with it, I personally found it to be rather difficult to get these sort of saves consistently, and so I do like how this in a way raises the skill ceiling of Moira because a really good Moira player who's really experienced and knows how to time it perfectly will be able to consistently save their allies from big ults like that, whereas a less experienced Moira player, such as myself, won't be able to use it to that same extent. So in that regard, I think it's actually really cool. However, going back to the CC ultimates, these are just way too easy to negate, and I think this in particular is what makes the fade buff overpowered. And sure, you could argue that Diva's Defense Matrix and Sigma's Kinetic Grasp can already negate ultimates if used properly, but I feel like there's at least a bit more skill involved with those, where you have to be able to time it to catch like an incoming Graviton Surge or a Far Rocket Barrage, whereas with Moira's Fade, it's just press the Fade button, wait for Fade to finish, and then everyone is just saved. So while I'm okay with heroes having standard abilities which can counter enemy ultimates, I think this is a case where the ability just goes a bit too far. If Blizzard does end up keeping this ability on Moira, at the very least they need to increase its cooldown to make it less spammable, and probably find some way to make it less effective against big ults like Gravitic Flux and Earth Shatter, since as it stands it's just a incredibly simple straightforward counter to those. Now speaking of that, it actually sounds like Blizzard themselves are also interested in increasing the cooldown, but they didn't do a great job of communicating that to the player base. In fact, they did a pretty poor job of communicating this buff overall to the player base, which is something I just felt like I should talk about as well. So as I'm sure you all noticed, after these changes went to the experimental card, there was quite a bit of, should we say, heated discussion about this change. I'm sure we're all very familiar with the Overwatch community and how they tend to get a little excited over even the tiniest change to their favorite or least favorite hero. And of course, a radical change like this was no exception. However, according to Jeff Kaplan and some of the other Overwatch developers and community people, this change is just an experiment and isn't even necessarily going to go to the live server game modes. In fact, when talking with some of the Overwatch content creators, Jeff Kaplan even mentioned that internally they they would push a longer cooldown onto Moira's fate ability if this change ended up going through, which seems to imply then that it's not going to end up going through, even though it's on the experimental card. And then a number of other people from the Overwatch dev team started talking on social media, and I'm not going to name any specific names here, they started pointing out, oh it's just the experimental card, you shouldn't assume that everything on the experimental card is going to end up going live to the main game modes. Which okay, it's called the experimental card, I understand why that might seem intuitive to an outsider, but if you look at the history of how the Overwatch experimental card has been used, with the exception of the very first experiment, which was the triple damage experiment that also had the radical tank buffs on it, every other hero balance change which has gone on the experimental card has promptly gone to live servers afterwards. And it's been, what, almost six months at this point? How many experiments have there been with almost every single one of them just immediately going live? And of course, Blizzard could have said beforehand, hey, we're doing some cool changes to Moira, which aren't necessarily going to go live, but you can try them out in the experimental card. Nope, they just listed the changes on the experimental card as if they were any old PTR patch notes and didn't say anything. So of course people assumed this Moira fade buff was going to go live because Blizzard has shown through how they use the experimental card that that is almost always the case, and they said nothing to the contrary until after people started complaining about it. Honestly, I don't want to talk on this too long, as you all know I have mad respect respect for the Overwatch dev team, I think they do a fantastic job for the most part of handling this game, and they definitely get way more criticism than they deserve in many areas, but in this specific instance I have to say that the dev team really dropped the ball on communicating what exactly they were trying to do with these Moira changes. 
as they did not emphasize clearly enough at all that this was just an experiment and not just upcoming changes that they're going to let people test early. Especially given that they put it on the experimental card along with the Genji nerfs, which presumably are going to end up going live pretty soon, along with Moira's other nerfs, which maybe those will go live, maybe they won't. Again, I think Blizzard kind of dropped the ball on communicating with us all this time around. But the one thing I will just say is enjoy this experiment while it lasts, since the experimental cards usually don't stick around super long. And if you do leave feedback for the developers, make sure the feedback is at the very least coherent. Even if you have radical thoughts about how great or terrible this buff is, just be respectful. The devs are only human. They make mistakes from time to time, but they are of course very passionate about getting Overwatch into a better state. So the more useful and coherent your feedback is, the more useful it'll be for them to actually improve the game. Anyways, these have been my somewhat rambly thoughts on the recent Moira Fade rework, or update, or change, or whatever you want to call it, but let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. Do you think it's as overpowered as it honestly probably is, or do you think Moira could actually use a change like this? Maybe you're even like me in that you like the ability, but think it would work better on a brand new hero more specifically designed around it. Regardless, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter at MasterENGamer, hit up that bell icon and come join my Discord server to never miss any future Overwatch news and content. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who make these videos possible, and if you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then you can hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is Master EN Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.